in 2019 there's still games that don't have an observer mode. So in this setup we're going to use an item to switch between the players. And we do that by capturing every player separate. But what we also want is to have a nameplate for the player that we're observing and that it switches automatically. I'm using a very old item for this but um, it should work on any item that we're using. So when you're connected to the item, we go to the item software control. And on my desktop I've prepared two nameplates for the first and the second player. So what we want to do is drag the first one into still one and the first one and uh, the second one in still two. And we want to make sure that the upstream key is selecting media player one and the key source is media player one key. And as you can see I can toggle the nameplate with upstream key one. What we're gonna do is make simple macros for this. Um, so let's make the first macro for player one. I normally use descriptions just to know what the macro is doing. Uh, so if other directors are using it, they can quickly look it up. And we hit record. So we want to switch one. We want to have the upscreen screen one on. Just to be sure, we're gonna select those two as well. And we're gonna drag the first player into media player one. So now, when I run the macro, it will show player 1 and uh, the nameplate for player 1. So let's record player 2. Also here just a simple description and hit record. So we're gonna select the second source that's gonna be player 2. We're gonna just uh, quickly do upstream green on and off so it records that it needs to be on and we're gonna drag player 2 in media player 1. And we're gonna stop the recording of the macro. So now if I run player 1 it will show source 1 with nameplate player 1 and when I run player 2 It will show source 2 with player 2 nameplate. And because it's easy, I'm gonna give the one that's gonna switch, I'm gonna give that person a stream deck to switch between the players and run the macros. So I'm gonna start up companion app. It's uh, not the official stream deck software, but we're gonna use it to control the item. Uh, first, I'm gonna add the item to the companion and I need to copy the IP address of the item into the instance. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it here. And let's make, let's call the page observing. Maybe you're gonna use more pages, so. And let's start with making button one. So I'm gonna add item run macro. And the first player is macro one. And I'm gonna call the button player one. And then let's add player 2 and how the atom software works is that it counts from left to right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, so player 2 is macro 2 and if we go to the buttons page hold shift we can test the buttons so if I switch between the players you see that it changes the source and nameplate. Um, if you want to uh, change the nameplates in between, you can just drag and drop and you're still in the still 
media uh, section of the Atom software and the macro still will be the same.